We're out here at Sneaker Con. But yesterday was SneakerCon, and I had a boot. Sadly, I didn't have enough time to create as much content as I wanted to because my booth was definitely popping. What I mean by that is, it was busy. SneakerCon Toronto was huge. It was way better than I ever expected it. The booth did amazing. I sold a lot of sneakers. I try and bring good deals to the people so that the people don't have to find the good deals. Anyway, SneakerCon went great for me. All right, I'm at SneakerCon. Let's go say what's up to everyone. We're gonna see some familiar faces in the vlog. Familiar face number one. Looks like there's no one at the Meg Park booth. Uh oh. Name brand was there, Kais Omar was there. Sneaker Talk was there, a Sneaker Life or something like that was there. All these sneaker people were there from YouTube, from America, from Canada, probably from Asia. great time it was way more successful than I thought and I'm strongly considering going to sneaker con New York City if you've never been to a sneaker con it's a pretty cool event it's a place where a bunch of sneakerheads gather to look and shop sneakers and a lot of other hype beast stuff too like at my booth there was some vape there was some supreme vape and supreme some Nike some Adidas some Jordan all for sale for the right price. I did walk around a little bit before open, but honestly everyone was too busy to talk to. As you may see in other people's YouTube videos, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. There's some basketball that's played, some speeches, some storytelling, some talk show stuff on stage, but my booth was way too busy for me to get up and record that stuff, so you guys can probably check that out on other people's YouTube channels. And I want to say is, what I want to say about this is, my booth was super busy because we were offering some great deals. Other people, not so much. First of all, in the beginning of SneakerCon, people's prices were super high. And we decided to undercut. And that was a big, heavy hitter for us. And next time there's a SneakerCon in a city near you, you should probably hit it up. It's a lot of fun. I got some tips for sneaker con guys. Tip number one, be prepared to wait in line. Tip number two, eat before you arrive. Because if you want to eat when you get there, there will be a long line for food. Tip number three, bring a little bit of money if you want to buy sneakers. Tip number four, don't bring any money if you don't want to buy sneakers. Tip number five, have fun. Don't steal. Thankfully, nothing was missing at the end of the night. I know there are some kids with some issues yesterday, but 
Thankfully, we had a good night yesterday where everything went off smoothly. We had no major issues. I talked to Mickey from Mag Park. Hopefully, we can go hit that store up in LA and make a video one day. Lots of opportunity at SneakerCon.